Hi everyone, today I will be covering what is legal entity override and how to use in Dynamics 365. Let's see, the topic is legal entity override, legal entity overrides. So let's understand this through an example. When does legal entity overrides comes into picture? Let's say in D365, we have a concept called as shade. That is, a financial dimension can be shared between two legal entities. Your chart of accounts can be shared between two legal entities. When there's a shared and you need to restrict a specific value to a specific legal entity, that is when legal entity override option comes into picture. Let's say we have a financial dimension called cargo. Now, when you create a dimension, we create a dimension values. Let's say Bangalore and let's say New Jersey. These are the two values created for this financial dimension. Let's assume this dimension is shared between two legal entities. One is called as next, the other let's say ABC. Now let's assume this NEXT is from US region and ABC legal entity is from India region. Now let's say this financial dimension cargo is shared between both this legal entity and hence you will be able to see by default both the dimension values here's a requirement let's say when i log in from nxt that is my us legal entity i should be able to see dimension value only for new jersey when i log in from abc that is my india legal entity I should be able to see a financial dimension value called Bangalore. So that is when a legal entity overrides option comes into picture. So let's see how this is controlled in D365. So let's get to the system. So let's first see the financial dimension. So go to financial dimension. So cargo dimension is already created. So click on dimension values. So here you can see I already have created a dimension called cargo and a dimension values for Bangalore and New Jersey. Now let's assume this cargo dimension is connected to my legal entity called NAXT. So we connect that through account structure. So let's quickly go through account structure. So here you can see in my NAXT account structure for asset I have added cargo. Now when I want to post any transaction for this main account, I will be getting cargo dimension and by default, I will be getting both Bangalore and New Jersey option. So first, before doing any legal entity override setup, let's see how the transaction looks and then we'll come back to legal entity override setup. So let's go for a general transaction. So click new. Let me post a simple GL transaction just to understand the dimension part. So select the journal names, go to lines. Let me quickly fill the values. Uh, let me pick one expense account. Fill the dimension that's required here. Enter an amount. So now let me select a cash account here. And when I select a cash account, cargo dimension comes into picture. And by default, I'll be able to see both the values that is created under dimension. Now, how to restrict a Bangalore value to my NXT? That is when a legal entity override comes into picture. So let's say I want to restrict this value. So under legal entity, right click add. Now, select the company that should be restricted. NXT, click add. Once you select a company, click suspended here. So in this way, you can suspend a specific dimension value for a specific legal entity. So for this legal entity, I've suspended the dimension value called Bangalore, save. So once this changes is made, now let's go for a new transaction and let's see what are the values that you will be able to see in NXT company. So let's click new to create a new transaction. Select the journal names. Let me quickly fill the values. Let's say we'll select a ledger here for an expense. So fill the values. Now on the offset side, let's say I've selected cash. Once I select a cash, cargo comes into picture and 
since I have logged in from NXT, that is my US entity, I am seeing the value only New Jersey. I am not able to see the Bangalore dimension value, even though I am using the cargo dimension. That is because here I have used a legal entity override to suspend a specific value. This is how a legal entity override option can be used in DT65. You can also use this option at the main account. When you have a shared chain of accounts, when you want to restrict main accounts for a specific entity, you can use this option at main account as well. That's it for the video. Thank you.